Hi there, my name is Vince, I'm a composer, and in this video I'd like to show you three essential key commands for working with large templates in Logic Pro X. So here you can see I've started writing a piece of music in a work in progress orchestral template that I've been setting up, and it's got a fair number of tracks. And the problem with this kind of um, setup is that there's lots of space between these different regions and it can be hard to get a, an overall sense of what's going on. Even at the widest magnification you still have to scroll up and down to see what's going on at any one time. And I quite like being zoomed in so that I can see the individual MIDI notes on the regions. So the first key command that I want to share with you is hide all empty tracks, which I have set to the key that's just above my tab key on my Mac keyboard. It's a funny squiggly looking thing and I just press that. You can just toggle it like that. So the way to set that up is pressing Option K to bring up the key commands assignment window and type hide empty. And you can see here, I've got it assigned to this key here. You just press learn by key lab label and then you can press whatever combination of keys that you wish. So now say that I'm continuing to write with this setup and it's nice and clutter free, but I want to now go and find a bass trombone to add some extra pizzazz to this horn line. One way that I could do it is show all the tracks again and then scroll down and find my bass trombone. I think it's somewhere at the bottom. Uh, bass trombone's here. Um, and I could just click on it like that and then press hide all empty tracks again. And now that it's highlighted, it doesn't hide the track that's been selected. But an even nicer way to do it is if when I'm in this view, I use the show hide groups function in Logic, then I can select group three, which I've got assigned to all of the brass tracks. And for me, I'm using control shift three. That just shows the brass instruments. And that just means I have to do a little bit less scrolling to find the instrument that I want. Say I wanted a, a trombone marcato, and then I can press the hide all empty tracks button again. And that brings us back here. And I can input my new melody that way. And so once again, the way to set this up is to go Option K to bring up the key commands um, assignments window and search for toggle group. And you'll see it comes up with these things which you can assign here. It actually goes up to 64, which is quite handy. So one is strings, two is woodwinds, three is brass, and so on. Because there's relatively few instrumental groups in the orchestra, then I can just remember which one I need and uh, do it that way. Of course, instead of using key commands, you could use something like a Stream Deck or um, an iPad app or a control surface. So you could just create Stream Deck buttons, for example, that are labeled strings, brass, uh, percussion, and so on. And then the final related key command is to hide unselected tracks, meaning that you can select any one or several tracks and then get rid of everything else on your screen just by pressing a key command. This can be especially useful when, for example, you want to work with two tracks that, even in this condensed view, might be quite far apart. You know, if I had a lot of woodwind instruments and more horns and stuff, then this pink region might be like quite far down and I might have to scroll up and down to see it in relationship to, say, a string part that's higher up in my template, like this one. Um, what I can do is select both of these tracks use my key command to condense the view even more. Just focus on this view, do some work, maybe copy some MIDI across, um, and then press the same button again to get out of it, and then press hide empty tracks again. Just a slight caveat to those of you who use track stacks as part of your templates. This particular feature of Logic won't work. Any instruments inside a track stack won't appear when you use that key command. So once again, let's go into our key commands window and search for hide unselected. And you can see it's here and this I've got it assigned to this little symbol here. So for me, I quite like having hide empty tracks on a single button press rather than using any modifier keys. And the same thing for hide unselected tracks, just a single button press um, because you have to do those two taps to get back out of it. So there you have it, three key commands that might be useful if you find yourself working in a large logic template, um, just to keep your environment nice and clutter free and make it as easy as possible to get on with writing and seeing your arrangement as a whole and not get uh, too bogged down with having to do lots of scrolling or hunting down tracks. I've tended to avoid template-based workflows, um, but I guess 
with things like orchestral music, it tends to make more sense because I already have quite a clear idea of the instrumental groups I'll be using. And in recent times, Logic has had this great feature where you can have lots of tracks loaded in your project, but they don't actually load into your RAM until you start using them. And in even more recent times, the load times for individual samples has gotten down to such a, a small amount, things are basically active and playable almost as soon as I click on them. So those two kind of um, uh, technological progressions have made me come back around slightly to the idea of working specifically with orchestral templates. And so, um, yeah, it's just something that I'm exploring at the moment and I'm quite excited about the possibility of just freeing up more mental energy to focus on writing music, on the arranging and, you know, the really important stuff rather than getting bogged down in technical things, which is what it's all about. So thank you very much for your attention. Let me know any questions that you have in the comments and happy composing. <laughs>